everybody, Daniel Fusco here, and welcome to today's Two Minute Message. So I don't know about you, but I always catch myself doing things that I don't want to be doing. I think everyone's like that. We, we've developed habits that when we look at them, we're like, this isn't a good thing. You know, uh, and how do we break the cycle of those type of things? I think all of us have areas of our lives that there's like, yeah, I, I want to get at that. So I want to give you three simple steps how to break the cycle on unhealthy habits, whether they're extraordinarily unhealthy or just things that aren't exactly the best of what we should be doing. First, you need to identify what the problem areas are. I think this is important. And I think you need to write it down. I, there's something about when you write something down and, and, you, and you put it on paper. Now it's, it's real. It's tangible. So you need to write down, this is is an area that I want to get at. And maybe it's a list of things. Maybe there's five things or, or three things, but just write it down. Now, whichever ones you're gonna prioritize, you're actually gonna work on. And I wouldn't recommend trying to fix five things at once. I think maybe doing one or two is more than enough. But once you identify what it is, you need to break it down to what is the simplest step to be able to eradicate that problem. Like many of us know what it's like if you, if you wanna change the way that you're eating. I've always heard it says that your diet is one in the grocery store, not in your kitchen. See, if there's things that you don't want to eat. If you don't bring them home, you don't, you, you don't, you're not going to eat them in those moments of weakness. If they're in the house and you have that moment of temptation and weakness, guess what happens? It ends up in your belly. So you need to say, this thing I want to fix, the way to fix it is and give a simple step or two simple things that you can do. So you need to have actionable, simple steps to take. And then three, you need to be able to assess how are we doing with it? So maybe you look back after a week and say, this thing that I wanted to fix, this is the simple step, and this is where I'm actually at with it. Now, if there's been any growth at all, I wanna encourage you to be able to celebrate it. Celebrate it with others, and also celebrate it in prayer with the Lord, because it is something that you should be praying about. It's not just us trying to fix these things. We wanna grow spiritually in the midst of it. So, And you wanna be able to praise God, saying, hey God, thank you so much for who you are and what you've done in your home. And if what you're doing isn't working, then you need to come up with a better step number two, a better actionable step to really help you to be able to take those steps to break the cycle of the habits that are holding us back from being the people that God called us to be. So that's what you do. I want you to share this message because unfortunately all of us have those things. And in the comment section, I want you to be able to say, this is an area that I'm seeking to grow in. This is an area that I want to be able to fix this part of my life. And I'm asking you to be a little bit vulnerable, but we're going to be able to pray for one another as we seek to, to be a little bit better every single day. God bless you.